Welcome to this week's episode of Fish Addictions TV. As the tides are turning, the ice is melting, we're getting into some open water fishing action. And last fall, Anthony and the guys got a chance to get up to Jackson Lodge on Bradburn Lake for a fly-in fishing trip. Now these are one of those trips that are just so much, they're just so full of experiences. You get up there, you're somewhere where there's nobody else, you're, you're fishing waters that few people have ever fished before. So they're headed up to Manitoba, to Jackson Lodge. Wish I could join them, but you know what? Sometimes life happens and I know these guys had a great time. So here it goes. Jackson Lodge, Bradburn Lake, coming to you right now. Addiction. The fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. What happens when an addiction cannot be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet. The rod in our hands, the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. This is Fish Addictions TV. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear and the rest of our fine sponsors. got our gear unpacked we're waiting for our plane to get here uh, one of the things about planning for a trip like this is they have weight restrictions so we really had to kind of combine our gear try and downsize as much as we could just making sure that you're being conscientious of what you're bringing not doubling up on a lot of supplies waiting for our plane to get here really excited to get going hopefully all the stuff that's on a plane <laughs> Jackson's Lodge and Adventure are family operation and we've been in business for almost 40 years. We have 20 separate fly-in fishing camps. Well, most of our lakes are all strictly walleye and, uh, and northern pike fishing. The lakes have very little pressure on them. We're the only camp on any of our lakes. so We always try and give the guys a real good rundown of the camp when they get there so there's no surprises and we give them maps and kind of point them in the right direction. So it's uh, a lot of first timers and, uh, and there's, there's no issue if you've never done some of this before, we'll set you up. Hopping on the float plane for the first time, uh, it was pretty, pretty cool. I uh, was, I can't, I gotta be honest, I was a little nervous maybe at first and you get up in the air and you, you don't feel like you're really moving, you get that lightweight feeling, but honestly, I was really impressed with how smooth it was. I mean, everything was kind of on autopilot. The, the pilot was talking to us, chatting up what we were flying over. So it was a really cool experience. Home. Home sweet home. This it is, is home sweet home. For one week. We just got got to camp, getting unloaded, getting packed up. I typically tear down my stuff when I'm traveling a long distance. Keeps your reels from getting banged up when you're traveling, so we're just getting everything kind of re-spooled up. We're gonna go target some pike, target some walleyes. Uh, with the sun out today, I think we'll probably start with pike just because it uh, should be a good day for that. Um, and if it does get rainier later in the week, obviously overcast is usually a little bit better for walleyes, so hopefully we can get out and find some fish and have a good time. Easy. Boy, he got all three treble hooks in his mouth. There we go. I don't know if he's ready yet. Oh yeah, he's a big boy. That's a nice one. Not hooked all that well. I don't think. Okay, 
bring them, turn them, turn them that way, and then bring them right in. We'll keep them in the water. <laughs> I'm going to put us in rewind. Okay. Got him. Hey. There we go. Took us a little while. Found some nice cabbage. And you find the pike. Before the spot. Before the hole. Before the bait. It starts with a passion, and that passion starts at Runnings, the best gear and supplies from the most trusted brands. When you get the strike, will you be ready? Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. If you're looking for a lighter, faster, smoother auger, check out the pistol bit. Weighing only four pounds and optimized for efficiency, the pistol will maximize the life of your cordless drill battery, cut quickly, and easily re-drill old holes. Thanks to its stable centering point, check out the pistol and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. Manitoba, Canada's heart beats. It is in fact, it's, it is bigger. Bigger. Yeah. There we go. Nice fish. We were just trolling along this little bay and seen a nice patch of cabbage that's kind of been the key for us so far is finding the, some of those cabbage weed beds and seems to be that's where the active fish are just finding those little little variances in the bottom active fish line it up there you go that man that man thank you sir camera guy called it he's like cast it right in there no sooner, about three cranks. Yahtzee. Wow! Wow! Yep. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I should have just grabbed the <laughs> man. We got to see him. Wasn't as big as the first one I caught. That's a uh, good catch and release fishing, right? All right. I think I'm just gonna hand land them from now on. <laughs> a good one right off the edge of some cabbage and a rock point. Woo! Here comes Mr. Pike. That'll be our dinner. Right in the top of the mouth, just jigging a little, uh, just a little split tail. Nice little keeper here. We're uh, wandering around on a lake that we don't know, we've never been to. And so it's been a lot of traveling around, trial and error.
35 inches. deeper steeper break coming right off the shoreline if you get some area where there's some reeds it's usually a little shallower it's a softer bottom um, that's where we found some cabbage earlier and found uh, a few of our pike hanging off of right next to the boat <laughs> look at that bad boy greasy 36 give or take and get bigger Bigger than the last few. I'm all right with that. Woo! Oh, nice pike. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So far, uh, we've just been trolling along with some Rapalas, trying different tactics right now, trying to fight the weather a little bit. It's been raining on and off today, but it's still been a pretty good day of fishing. Hey guys, this week's product showcase of the week is not even gonna be a product. I'm gonna tell you about a huge sale that Running's having, a clearance with ice fishing products up to 50% off. Now we're not just talking houses, we're not just talking augers, we're talking everything ice fishing. Where do you get it at? At your local running store or at runnings.com. Get in there, look at all these specials. What are you waiting for?
Runnings, your home farm and outdoor store with over 40 locations. One of the keys for success on our trip was bringing our ice bundles to use as a sonar in the boat. Uh, whether you have a traditional flasher or an LCD screen that has 2D sonar, the traditional sonar, um, it's a great tool to use to be able to break down the body of water. Know your depths, find points of interest, maybe even locate fish and throw down waypoints. Uh, you can simply take your transducer, put it in the bottom of the boat, It'll shoot right through the aluminum hull. Um, it's just a great tool to use to be more successful. So remember that if you're planning a trip to um, a fly-in destination or somewhere that's not uh, mapped out and uh, you'll be a lot more successful on the water. Really? Get there, Cal. <laughs> First Ooh. W of my fly-in trip. Look at the golden colors yeah, on that bad boy. That is some Canadian goodness. Jackson Lodge is an outpost. Beautiful, tasty walleye. Nice. Jeez, that's Ooh. a big fish. <laughs> wow. Oh. To navigate around in a little 14 foot boat, stuff's falling over. <laughs> it's a little interesting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pike on walleye gear. Couldn't have got that guy earlier. <laughs> we were wondering why there weren't any walleyes in our walleye spot. That might be why. Tricky on the walleye gear, but we got her done. A 14 foot bolt. The best part of a fly in trip is shore lunch for supper. I think they sold other places too, but... Bueller, Bueller. I like a called? mix of the... The red, this red is, is like... Is red, like I'm this is like Cajun. That's not Cajun, it's... They make yellow, red, and Cajun. So this is oh. like basically hardly any flavor. That's a little spice and then there's Cajun. Oh, okay. Good fishing, good eats. Typically, I think is there pins, the best one out. Pins, yeah. pins down. Okay. Oh. Am I gonna go to the wrong side of this? Mm. Are we gonna, we're gonna, cheek. Are we gonna touch Cheers. wings? Touch wings. No, touch wings. wings. Okay, what? Wings down. So the wings kind of pointed downward, and then you'll bite the top and just kind of slide it off. Okay. Well, this is the main side, right? No, the other side. No oh, way. I think so. Okay. I've never had wings before. Oh, whatever. Salute. Salute. Yeah. Oh. See if you were wrong or not. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See these little, these little bad boys right here. What is it? Hot. A little glub. I can't talk with hot stuff in my mouth. Should try a bite. Delish. Food cam. Finger looking good. From this trip, I had two two real big lessons I learned. One, I've never driven a tiller boat before. 
and that was fun. They're little. They got 99 horse on there, but they're a lot of fun. And bait casters. Uh, I hadn't targeted Northerns before this trip. Uh, I didn't know a whole lot about the bait casters, and these guys really taught me how they worked. And I wouldn't say I'm a master, but very confident with the bait casters. Yes. You caught me cooking on camera, right? Yeah. Oh, I do this all the time when I'm not at home. Like the master, <laughs> master griller. I would definitely come back out here. The opportunity to fish on a lake that maybe 80 to 100 people fish in a year. Uh, we had the lake entirely to ourselves. We got a cabin on an island. And outside of the occasional bush plane, you won't find anybody out here. It's peaceful. Knowing you don't have to worry about work and you get to wake up knowing you're going fishing. So it's a great place to come. I would come back every year. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. My first experience on a flying trip, uh, it was pretty amazing. It's kind of a unique place up here, you know, to be on a lake that only a couple people touch each year. Um, it's a high quality managed lake and it's easy to see why you can roll up on just about any spot and catch some fish. Um, the, the northern pike are thick, the walleyes are, are abundant. This was my very first flying trip. Um, it was absolutely an amazing experience. Just to get away, be over 100 miles away from anything that resembles civilization absolute quietness out here. Beautiful mornings, awesome sunsets, um, out here with five guys, have a whole lake to yourself. There's nothing better. I mean, just to be able to unplug, no Wi-Fi, no cell phones, no anything. It's just you and nature. And uh, probably the, that's probably the best part about this trip is just getting away. One of my biggest takeaways from this trip was just the amount of reliance we have on technology um, whether that's fish finders and phones and computers it was one of those things that i really looked forward to coming up here is being able to unplug kind of just let things be de-stress de-technology you know you get used to having a screen in front of you electronics lake map chips with contours um, you, you usually fish or visit some of the same bodies of water back around home but you get up here you don't have a lake map. You don't have any contours. The only X's on the map are marking rocks. And you know, the first day, day and a half is spent exploring. We use the garments to shoot through the bottom of the boat, but you, you drive around and you find a hump and you go back and, and you fish it, especially with a nine, nine horsepower motor. It's a while to cover water. You can't get to one end of the lake or other very fast. So I think we kind of became a little bit better fishermen. We worked different depths. We worked um, shallow, we worked deep, we jigged, we casted, you know, different variety of lures to try and find, you know, where those fish were and what they were relating to. So for a week in a boat without a screen and, and 
you know, knowing where to go, just kind of starting fresh and, and blank and not having a, a lake map, you know, we, I think we did really well in fishing. We were fairly successful in most of the spots that we found. I'm one of those people that always over prepares for trips and preparing for this trip was no different. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what we all needed to bring and you know not being sure of what there would be when we got here uh, kind of brought a lot of stuff but you know Jackson Lodges they put a lot of thought and effort into everything that you would need. Uh, we had a great cabin, a lot of the utensils and things you would use for cooking, a great fish cleaning area and frying shack. One of those things, or some of those things that you would really look forward to in a great cabin and a great resort. Uh, it was really nice to have those accommodations and you know beds and comfort and clean, uh, all things that you look forward to from a great cabin and a great resort. Some delicious ribeyes. These are going to be delicious. You know what I do on another fly-in trip again? Absolutely, to get away from everything. You know, away from work for a week and, and get up here and. The cell phones are off and, and to not see anybody else, you don't have uh, the, uh, any you know road noise or traffic noise. It's really unique to be on a lake where only a couple people uh, fish each year. So a lot of these fish haven't seen lures and you know, it's just a fun place. Whew. A little pikey action. Right up a little. Just doing a little jigging for some walleye. And it was really enjoyable to spend, you know, four and a half days with a group of guys just laughing, having a great time. Um, everybody up here was really looking forward to just kind of unwinding, enjoying some fishing, some company, some good food, some good laughs, and we all had a really great time.